create beautiful PDF documents from your Airtable database using document. Let's go. My name is Max Bernstein from Industry Automations. We make custom Airtable databases for the music industry. Today we're going to be creating invoices from a series of linked records representing each line item. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you a trick for how to dynamically display images in the document PDF from Airtable. Now let's quickly review the database structure. One invoice has one customer and one invoice has many line items. Here are the line items. Here is the customer. Now we're going to be looking up the customer information back into the invoice table. But as for the line item information, we're going to configure document to find that data and display it in a repeating group for us. Now let's head over to the document template. To reference Airtable data in the document template, you must use field headers as lowercase, substituting an underscore for a space surrounded by double curly braces. Connecting Airtable to document is a four step process. Step one, add an attachment field to the invoices table and call it attachment. Step two, create another field in the invoices table that references the table ID of the line items table. So first, we'll head over to the line items table. We'll look at the URL and we'll find the table ID. Now this is the string of characters that always starts with the letters TBL. Copy that to your clipboard. Now head back to the invoices table, open up another field. This one we're gonna be type formula. Take that table ID surrounded by quotation marks. Now it's very important that you name this field properly. And the name follows this convention. Title of the linked record table, which you are referencing, in this case, line items, and then a space, and then the words table underscore ID. Great. Step three, create what's called a generation link. Head back to document template, select data in the right hand rail, hit integrations, find air table and select generation link. Now by now, if your document account is not already connected to your air table database, it will ask you to do so, but we will continue on. Step one, paste the table URL from the table which you are generating the document from, in this case, invoices. Copy the URL, paste it. Tell document the name of the attachment field that you created back in step one, in this case, attachment. Select whether you want to overwrite attachments or let them all exist in the field itself. I recommend that you start by letting them all exist and you can change that later if you please. Next, indicate how many levels deep you're expanding your linked records. In our case, invoices are being connected to line items, so that's two levels. Document can handle as deep as five levels of linked records. So we'll put a two there. Now we're done. Copy this link, head back to your invoices table, open up another field, and we're gonna call this generate PDF, type button, style it how you like, label the button how you like. In my case, I'm gonna say generate PDF, and I'm gonna paste the generation link that we just copied from the document template. Boom. Now we need to head back to the document template and make sure that the section, remember, 
text, columns, and sections where we're going to be listing the detail from the line items themselves is referencing the correct table in Airtable. And the way you do that is you select the section, head over to Edit Logic, Repeat Loop, and type in Line Items. Now that's the table header in lowercase separated by an underscore. Boom, hit save. If all goes well, I'm going to click the Generate PDF button. It's going to trigger Document to create the invoice with the information from Airtable, including all of the information from each line item on the invoice that's kept back in the line items table, and then put that in PDF file right here in our base. Let's check it out. Boom, voila. Company information, customer information, line item information, subtotal, tax, grand total, notes, it's all there. And to prove to you how dynamic this is, we're going to add a line item to the Acme Corporation invoice, and you're gonna see it show up at the bottom. So we go into line items, we'll copy the invoice title, let's open up another one, let's link it back to that invoice, we'll call it heavy machinery maintenance, quantity is one, the price is $14,950. Let's take a look. Generate PDF again. There you go. Heavy machinery maintenance, 14,950. Added to the subtotal, taxes applied, bringing you to a grand total, 86,280. Boom. Now, as promised, I'm going to show you a trick for how to display images dynamically in the document template from your Airtable base. For example, let's assume that we are a accounting firm and we generate invoices on behalf of many businesses. We use the same template, but we want not only the business information over here, name, address, etc., to be different, we want each of our clients' logos to show up. So we have a companies table with all of the companies for whom we generate invoices. And each of these companies has their address. It also has their logo. We head back to the document template. We drag an image block onto the template, double click it, and we use the following syntax to direct it to the correct attachment field back in Airtable. The name of the field that contains the attachment, in this case, logo, dot, the position of the image you want to display, in this case, zero, dot, URL, all surrounded by double curly braces. So you say add image, and then you double click, and you're good. Now this image field references the logo attachment field from Airtable dynamically. And I'll show you how. Back in the invoices table, not only do we have an invoice for Acme Corporation, which has this logo, but we have an invoice for Prestige Worldwide, which has this logo, Callahan Auto, its own logo, etc., etc. So you're going to see when I click the Generate PDF button, it's going to have the specific logo for the company whom I'm generating it for. One more time, Callahan Auto. Generate PDF, and we have the Callahan Auto logo for the Callahan Auto invoice. That's it. Now you're superhuman.